around him like that right there, just loosely grab his head. And you can see that his body is, um, is, is really not that much out of focus. It's, um, it was shot with a long lens that was quite a ways from, from him at the time when I shot this. So uh, basically what I need to do there is maybe add a little bit more depth of field. We have a depth of field tool. What I've just done with this selection is to find the area of focus. I'm going to launch into the depth of field tool and uh, let it do its thing. And you'll see that it's added uh, a little bit of a, uh, a blur around the, uh, the dog. Now the idea of doing this loose selection is this thing called feathered edge. And the feathered edge feathers in from the selection. And uh, you can see that on his neck where it goes from kind of sharp right up here to blurs out down here. And then the rest of the photo is completely blurred out. And again, to my eye, this takes the dog that was... Um, was definitely had an interesting character look to him, and it uh, now just gives it all that much more focus right there on his face, uh, and uh, the body blurs out and gives you that interesting depth of field. So, very easy to use. All the tools in our main editor, uh, very uh, very powerful. Lots and lots of options. We do not have time to go into them tonight. Uh, so I'm going to show you another uh, tool that we have in our editor. Uh, just to show you the types of power that we have. Uh, but let me switch over to this set. I'm going to pick up this photo. And I'm going to go into the full editor with this. So there's, there are tools that allow you to push pixels around. You can make changes to a photo. You can um, copy things. You can adjust things. You can uh, erase things. And again, you've seen that with the blemish fixer. But in a photo like this, hypothetically, let's say that the bag that this young woman is carrying is uh, distracting, and I want to get rid of that particular uh, particular bag. So I'm going to go in and use a tool called our Smart Carver. Now, the Smart Carver is uh, a powerful way of stretching and squishing images, and it does it in a way without doing a major amount of distorting. So if at all possible, if you're going to stretch the image, it pulls it and stretches it in a way that it's very believable. If you're going to squish it, it squishes it in a way that it's very believable. It's not magic, but it does a pretty good job at that. So let me get in here a little bit closer so I can do a good job of, of covering this. And uh, so I've got two brushes down here. I've got a red brush, which allows me to paint uh, over objects that I want to have removed. And in this case, I'll just paint over the bag and do that. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to go in there and just snip a little bit. I'll leave a little bit in there in the fingers just because I'll probably want to remove that manually later. So the algorithm now has been told basically that thing, that bag, it can go away. Just go ahead and get rid of that when I squish the image horizontally. Uh, but I also am sensitive to the idea that it might, as it reconstructs the scene, squish other things. So I don't want it to actually make a, make a change to the hand. So I will paint over the hand. I'll paint over the contour down here just to make sure that it doesn't adjust anything there. The rest of it's probably not going to be picked up by the algorithm, so I'm not going to have to protect it. But I'm going to use this thing called the Auto Contract Horizontally. And I'm just going to click on that, let the process occur, and then I'll uh, basically pan down and we'll take a look at what happened. And lo and behold, the bag is gone. Uh, it reconstructed the street underneath to make it look very, very believable, uh, and amazingly so. Again, I, I left a little bit of that bag uh, in her hand. Uh, let me just zoom in here. You can see that, and you can, you can kind of make out where, where it made some adjustments down here, but it did a very, very, uh, very believable job of removing that. Now, if you remember the scene where before we started, there was actually a little bit more building up here, and the sidewalk down here was a little bit different, uh, but by, by being able to pick out vertically areas that it could squish and pick apart, uh, it was able to do this in a very believable way. So, very interesting. It does not work well for 
all images, uh, but it definitely is very, very powerful in many ways uh, in a lot of these different types of images. So uh, think about uh, that. Give it a try. Play with it. Again, it's one of many tools that allows you to copy and, and cover things and take out little bits of, of, of imagery, and you can use all of those tools to your benefit. If this one works for you, that's fantastic. It's a very, very uh, interesting tool to play with. So that is what I wanted to show you in that area. So I am going to hop out of this program. Bear with me just one moment here while I launch something called the Project Creator. And I'll switch my screen to that. Project Creator. All right. So you should be seeing the Paint Shop Photo Project Creator at this point. Now the Project Creator is designed to help you with the and then what part of the process. So after you've gotten your photos edited and you've made changes to them that that are are interesting to you and you're ready to to um, uh, go online with them or you're ready to print them out or ma ready to make a photo book well that was, that's what we've got in this particular program so you can upload your photos to to Facebook or Flickr. Um, you can make uh, photo books, cards, collages, calendars, slideshows out of them. Uh, so there's a number of different things you can back up in this area as well. Slideshow is the thing of interest here today and uh, I'll pop into that for a second uh, and show you how this works. So uh, it, it, this allows us to make a new slideshow and that is we can take a whole group of photos, we can select those photos, drop them in and basically make a little movie out of that uh, that set of, uh, of photos. So you can choose standard screen or widescreen depending on your output, standard definition or high definition again depending on your output. I'll choose high definition here. Um, hop down and grab a, a, a sample template to work with and I'm going to click select photos. Uh, in my select photos I'll, I'll navigate to a folder that has some of the photos that that uh, I was, uh, was working with earlier today and I can just go ahead and select those photos and I can uh, take them and drop them into uh, my little uh, tray down at the bottom here. That's what the video is going to be made out of. And I'll click go to slideshow. What it'll do then is it takes all of the images that I've given it and it will put them into a little movie uh, and then it'll let me make adjustments to that movie. So here at the beginning of the movie uh, it, uh, it allows me to, it has a title, I can go in and make changes to that title as I so choose, make it say whatever I might want it to say, uh, but um, I'll just play here, and again it probably won't play that well directly for you, but you can kind of get an idea of how the automated pan and, uh, pan and scan and zoom is set up to go from image to image to image in the little video. So. That gives a quick example of something that's very powerful. You can take this and uh, basically create a slideshow that you can share with your friends. You can, uh, after I click output here, you can see that we can both uh, upload to to uh, to YouTube directly from the program. We can create files. There's a lot of uh, a lot of other options that you have for outputting of those those uh, photos as well. So let me hop back over. Hold on. I need to make, uh, I need to get back into my slideshow here, or my uh, PowerPoint. So that should be what we're looking at. So um, presenter view, there we are. Um, That must be the right one. So anyway, um, with uh, all of the things we've looked at in the program today, let's um, let's now just talk a little bit about that. Where do you go from here? Um, certainly, there's a lot of things you can try in a program. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. Uh, again, all of those things. It really starts with good source work. So you, the photographer, if you can. Uh, uh, 
go and get the best photos possible. That's what it's about. Early on, we talked about pre-visualization. We talked about the idea.